Hello everybody, Puzzle Pieces here. More with Nancy Drew, the final scene. Brady? Brady? Oh, I guess Brady's not here. We'll talk to Simone then. And ask her what's up with those posters that she put everywhere. Have you seen the posters? Aren't they fabulous? found her press pass, of course. You know I was searching for evidence to show the police. You know every hour counts. But when Brady found the pass, you used it to promote your star before you turned it over? Maya's on the poster. It says she's missing. So what's your issue? Brady's out plastering those posters all over St. Louis and every podunk town for 50 miles. He's due back at any time, though, for the press conference. Press conference? Yeah. I've invited the press here today to report on Brady's commitment to solving this case. Ugh. You know, a few questions, a few photo ops, no big deal. That funeral wreath was awful, wasn't it? You saw the wreath? Where is it now? I had it moved out front for the press conference. <gasps> we want the press <sighs> to know just how heartless this kidnapper is, don't we? Then it's all the more fabulous when Brady saves the day. Ugh. Joseph says the building was probably locked when the kidnapping happened, and that the kidnapper had to be someone who was inside the theater. Care to comment? Why don't you tell that little gray troll that I think he did it, just to keep himself from dying of boredom in this old dump. That's my comment. How long have you been Brady's agent? Yeah. <sighs> I discovered him on an electric spring morning six years ago. He was working the original Coney Dog stand on Sunset Boulevard. It was pure luck. I was craving an all-beef frank at 7 a.m. <laughs> He's been the jewel in my crown ever since. I think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. Yeah, all right. All right, well... Let's just go look through here again. Uh, Brady's back. How are you holding up? You've already been a big help. Is there anything you can tell me about Maya's press pass? I found it in the basement. Uh, I mean the balcony. <clears throat> it was the balcony. Okay, which was it? The basement or the balcony? Balcony, basement, whatever. It's just my friend's life that's in danger here. Please, Nancy. It's not me. I guess I should have my eyes checked. I could have sworn that poster was all about you. It's Simone. She's relentless. I'm just a hostage on her runaway bus. Yeah, okay. Sounds like you've bitten off more than you can chew. It's more complicated than you think. Listen, I've got to get ready for this press conference. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, okay, you get ready. Okay, so we've pretty much talked to everybody. Now, he says he saw it in the basement, so let's just go check our basement area here. Hmm. Yeah, he said he checked out the b basement. Oh, this is something. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, stop. Uh, oh, 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 he's dead. Oh, sorry there. Hmm. This magician needs some first aid. Yeah. You're right about that, Nancy. Hmm. Yeah, there's obviously something here. Hmm. 
Yeah, it doesn't really give me much to interact with. This magician needs some first aid. Yeah, but then you said the balcony. Yeah, but you said basement first, so. Well, let's head up to the balcony then. Just check the other side. Hmm, nothing on this side. Got the posters again. Hmm. Let's see, who can we call? Uh, maybe the Historical Society? Eight, two, seven, two. That's not a good sign. Okay, let's call Ned. Four, three, five, seven. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, <laughs> hey, Dad. It's Nancy. <laughs> wow. Hello. Ooh. Hi, Ned. Hey, detective. Any leads? According to Joseph, the St. Louis Historical Society has been scrambling to get the Royal Palladium declared an historical <clears throat> landmark. And that would prevent the demolition? Right. So what's the holdup? Joseph thinks someone downtown is stalling. Hmm, maybe someone who wants the demolition has been greasing some palms. Probably. Hmm. It's a shame because Joseph seems to think they're close. I wonder if this kidnapper is just trying to buy a little more time. What does Mr. Falcone have to say about the Historical Society? He was pretty cynical. Said the whole process was a bunch of hocus pocus. Hmm, perhaps Mr. Falcone is using cynicism to disguise his true feelings. <laughs> Harry Houdini must have been quite a character. What makes you say that? Oh, it just sounds like he was so generous and passionate about his craft. Everyone loved him. Any theories yet on what he did with his half of the theater? No, but I highly doubt he was generous enough to give his half back to old J.J. Thompson. That wouldn't have been an act of generosity anyway. It would have been a lapse in judgment. Mm. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? Check with Nicholas to see if he's come up with any leads on Houdini's relatives. Ah, thanks, Ned. Bye, Ned. Call me soon. <coughs> Bless me. Nick, Ned's... I got the number. Oh. I left it in the ticket booth. This woman isn't a Houdini herself. She's the widow of one of Houdini's cousins. But it couldn't hurt to give her a call. I'll get right on that. Armstrong's new movie, Vanishing Destiny. 
Wouldn't we all prefer to turn our attention to record ticket sales and the squeals of delighted fans Yeah, it will just tone her out. Eight. One, three, five, five, five. I forgot the rest of the number. Three, two, four, seven. Three. Oh, oh, it's a one. Right, 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 right. One. One three. Five, five. Creep. I keep forgetting what the number is. There we go. I wrote it down. Okay. One, eight, one, three, five, five, five. Three, two, four, seven. Come on, relative of Houdini. Yes, hello. Hello. Is this Eustacia and Dropoff? Who else would it be? Everyone else oh. is back. Oh, oh Mrs. Andropov, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm trying to find out some information Ooh, about Harry that's and Dini. When I move off, it, it disappears. Who wants to know? Oh, I beg your pardon. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case in St. Louis. Harry was only my cousin by marriage, but my husband is dead, and so is Harry. So I guess that makes me nobody's cousin. Satisfied? I'm researching Mr. Houdini's ownership of the Royal Palladium Theater. Yep, okay, that's odd. Would you know anything about this? He owned it. Have it anyway. For a few months. And then he died. Does that help? Not Do you really. know what happened to his half? Did he sign it back over to J.J. Thompson? Return it to James Jehoshaphat? Jehoshaphat? The pandas? Not on his life. Losing that man was Harry's greatest escape. Did someone in Houdini's family inherit the theater? Harry made a plan to give his half of the theater to someone he admired. A young magician, I assume. Hmm. Perhaps a protege. I remember my husband telling me this. Can you tell me anything more? More? I'm 96 over here. I don't exactly have time to burn. I know it was a long <laughs> time ago, Mrs. Andropov, but this is terribly important. My friend is in danger, and finding out what happened to Houdini's half of the theater may be my only hope of saving her. Call the Library of Congress. Oh. Ask about the Houdini collection. There must be something in all of those letters. You tell that Sherman Trout, your station said, you're not dead yet, Sherman, so get up and make yourself useful. The <laughs> Library of Congress. You don't happen to have that number, do you? Oh. <laughs> well... I should have this letter from Shermie around here somewhere. Cat food coupons. Let's sit back as a repair. There you station. Here we go. Library of Congress, Washington, D.C. 202-555-5000. Thanks, Mrs. Andropov. You've been a great help. Save it for my funeral. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a woman. <laughs> Okay, so one, two, zero, two, five, 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 five thousand. Nope, it's still gonna do it. Okay, okay. Manuscript number one. Uh, I'm trying to reach Sherman Trout, please. Speaking. How may I help you? I don't know why it keeps going off now. Working on a case that involves Harry Houdini and the Royal Palladium Theater in St. Louis. Eustacia Andropov recommended I call you. Ah, uh, yes. Eustacia was most helpful to us when we were assembling our Houdini collection. I presume you'd like to have a look at it? Yes, please, Mr. Trout. I'm very interested. Fine. Well, you'll just need to register with the library when you get here and fill out a request for the materials you wish to view. Oh. When your request has been processed, the materials will be delivered to one of our reading rooms where you can view them. Mr. Trout, please let me explain. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to come to Washington, D.C. to do research. I'm hoping you could help me find a document. Well, Miss Drew, I'm sorry if you have logistical constraints, but please understand my own limitations. The Library of Congress currently holds over 40 million items Ooh. contained in 10,000 separate collections. Ooh. It's the largest
largest and most comprehensive library in the world. Yeah. I simply don't have time to run research errands for the individual citizens. Mr. Trout, if I don't solve this case in a matter of hours, the building I'm standing in will be demolished and an innocent 19-year-old girl, a friend of mine, may lose her life. You may be my only hope. Why is your friend in danger? She was kidnapped by someone desperate <laughs> to Says the voice of the kidnapper. Then what can you possibly be hoping to find in the Houdini collection that would help matters? Mr. Houdini was part owner of the theater, and I'm trying to find out who inherited his half or what became of it when he died. I'm hoping Houdini might have discussed it somewhere in his personal documents. If I can prove that the current owner is not legally the full owner, then maybe I can get the demolition stopped and save Maya. I see. Well, this sounds urgent. I suppose I can take a look. That would be such oh, a help, you. Mr. Trout. If you find anything, could you overnight it to me at the Royal Palladium? Well, I certainly can't send you the document itself. Can you print off it's a, a copy? artifact now. But I could send you a slide. What's the street address there, if I find anything? It's 1330 Washington Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63101. Please send the package in care of Nicholas Falcone or myself, Nancy Drew. I can't tell you how grateful I am, Mr. Trout. You might just be a lifesaver. Miss Drew, I assure you, Sherman Trout is a man of his word. Thanks so much. Bye. Where do you come from? Isn't it a little unusual for a uh, movie star to help with a kidnapping like this? People, one at a time. Brady. Well, with all of my experience... <laughs> All right, so uh, with that, then we've called those people and we're just waiting for documents to be sent to us. So the best thing for us to do is keep looking around the theater and see where this key might be able to go. But in the meantime, this is Puzzle Pieces signing off.